Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We are on game number six of this arena playthrough. Let's give it a shot. Four and one so far. Kind of a mediocre syner synergistic deck. Um, I feel like it's got a lot of... A lot of randomness to it. You know, there's multiple Doom Guards or whatever they're called. Multiple Succubuses. Not a lot of... Nah, just not a lot of synergy. This is Lima Punk. Early summoning portal. Let's ditch the uh, those two. We'll keep the questing adventure and the summoning portal. Nice, very nice. I'm happy with that. Hopefully he plays a one, one HP unit on turn one, and I'll just kill it with the Elven Archer. Instead, he plays nothing. I can still get some damage off. If he if he plays anything dangerous, I'll just abuse his sergeant, kill it. Or I could demon fire it. But I'd like to save these cheaper units behind the questing adventurer. You like my invention. That's not really a dangerous unit that I need to take care of. Now I could coin into an early demolisher. Then again, I'd like to get that summoning portal out. Let's just get some more cards. Ooh, twin summoning portals. Fun, fun. These do stack. So basically, you can reduce the cost of minions down by four to a minimum of one. So five mana unit costs one. Six mana unit only costs two. Very scary. Okay, so turn three. I could get out my first summoning portal. You can do two mana, two damage to it. The best bet's going to be the Demolisher. The Demolisher as bait for any kind of removal that he has before playing a Summoning Portal, which has basically the same amount of life. And this is also dangerous enough that he's going to be tempted to probably backstab it and then kill kill. Yep. See, he would have done that to the Summoning Portal too, and it would have been a wasted card. This guy's toast. Unfortunately, he's improved his board position quite a bit. But, hmm. I could go questing adventurer, coin. I wonder. Demon fire is not going to be that great on any of these units. Questing adventurer would just come out as a four four. That's not strong enough. It would get killed almost instantly. I could just double demon fire to kill a couple units. I'm not really liking the position that I'm in here. Well, I'm gonna play the succubus. We lose the questing adventure. Okay, well there goes that option. Let's um... Just gonna coin up. Or card up. I think this next upcoming turn's where I'm gonna be able to do something decent. I don't have a lot of units in here, that's the problem. I'm trying to get out the summoning portals, but there's no units to back them up with. And these units are just a little bit too tough to take out with the demon fire. Hmm. I could do a charge divine shield argent commander next turn. Could help. We must cleanse the sunwell. He's eating four damage, then he's gonna suicide the two two. Even further improving his situation. Hmm. Okay, I need to get a decent unit out. Now hopefully he's going to trade one of these units and not just remove it. 
The reason he keeps staying ahead when it comes to the board is because instead of sacrificing a unit to kill my unit, he ends up doing board card removal. Card removal just ends up, you know, wiping this out, and then he's got a multiple scrub. units up there. Yeah, beat it. At least this time he'll have to trade a unit. I could really go for a Hellfire right now. At least we have a few units now. It might make sense to play the summoning portal. But instead, I think, um... I wonder. I'll get you out and take care of one of these units. And just hope that soon I'll get enough momentum that I can control the board again. It's going to be really tough, though. It's got great board control. About equal cards. Same unit I had. Oh, see, that's unfortunate for me. It's really rushing me down hard. This is disappointing! Hmm. First summoning portal's four, second summoning portal's two, third unit would only be one. Or I could just do four one one. So many. We'll do that. I think I might be dead though. Five, seven. I'm dead. Yep. He had board control the entire game. There's I Shoot. Shoot, shoot, shoot. There's just very little I could do to turn it around. Oh well. Next, I think we're four and two. Here's game number seven. Hopefully we can keep the run going, but this is about as far as I was expecting the deck would end up, just based on the synergy of it. A gum pusher. Musty orphan. Gul'dan versus Anduin. The light shall bring victory. Your soul hmm. shall be mine. There's the Hellfire I needed to get board control last game. I'll never have a weapon, so... I'd rather play this one this turn, get him out, and then use the battle cry to remove whatever he ends up putting out there. That's gonna be a little tough to remove, though. I could remove it. Let's see, an Arena Priest. How likely is he to be able to buff that thing into something terrifying? Probably pretty good. So let's just do it. Oh, he had nothing to do on turn two. Interesting. Means he must have some high mana cards. Threes, fours, fives. Okay. That's a fairly dangerous unit that I'm gonna have a hard time dealing with. So let's just kill it. Watch him play a second one. Oh, he's giving up the ability to heal. Interesting. Well, we could play this and this Violet Teacher. Oh, not. I can't count sometimes, I swear. One shot, one. It'd be very easy for him to take care of my summoning portal. Since he can basically, he can do a 2 damage nuke right now. 2 damage for 2 mana, that's quite good. Oh, 
There's the sucking raging warging. I called it. Kind of funny, actually. Alright, um... Hmm. Playing her. Demon mm -hmm. fire that. Suicide that. I end up with two units on the board. Not bad. Decent position. Not bad. The position that I'm in could be much better, but... We'll see. He still can't heal himself, so at least there's that. But he's, you know, he could very easily just nuke stuff. It's twice as powerful as a fireball, or a fire blast. So you trade these units, nuke it. Yep. Gives him so much control. Imagine being a, a mage and just always having a two damage, two nuke. Three raging organs. Jeez, that's quite scary. Hmm. Well, I don't want to leave a 1 1 unit behind that he can enrage that on. So I think we'll do... let's just do this. I want you to kill the Worgen. And since that's a trade, we'll just keep him alive for now. That's three Raging Worgens that I've killed. Fourth one? For the king. Oh, but he does have a 2-5 charge. I'm just worried about when he turns his attention towards nuking me every turn. Good board control. Play the Questing Adventurer, followed by the Venture Co. Mercenary. He would be pulled between both units. Give me a quest. That's my only option, really. This is dangerous later, this is dangerous now. What are you going to do about it? You could easily kill it, just suicide, nuke it, attack it, but then this guy's alive for next turn. Of course, he's still going to have six mana after nuke, so... Lots of options available for him. He's in a good spot. He's got huge, just huge advantage. He's got hand, a lot of cards in his hand, and he's got board control. Oh, he's going to mind control my Venture Co. Mercenary. Awesome. That makes it a very easy decision on how to handle it. Now, we're not going to want to play that quite yet. Hmm. Not liking the way this is shaping out. Not at all. I'm gonna take a ton of damage. No... No opportunity to, to really stop him from doing anything. Ah! I have no taunt. God. The Doomguard Succubus combo. I think we've learned that that's a bad choice. Well, next turn I'm going to take 7, 2, 1 is 10 damage, so I'm dead. So I have to remove some of his damage. I can't kill that. I'm st I still think I'm just going to be dead. He can do 8 damage, all he needs is 1 smite. This is the problem, I think. I really... The Doomguard Succubus is... Ah. There you go, he's got the 10 damage. Yep, game over. Well played, Invocation. So that was it. Yep. I ended up 
pretty much right where I thought I would. Four, four, win, three to four wins, maybe five. If I remember correctly, that's what I said at the beginning. So yeah, we ended up going four and three. Not good. Let's see what we ended up getting, though. Could be good stuff. You never know. Could still get a legendary. It's possible. So we got you know, 30 gold plus some arcane dust. Let's go see what's in our deck. Oh, look at that! It is! It's a legendary! Awesome. And a rare. So we got a circle of healing. Amani Berserker. I called that. I called that so good. I said, oh, could be a legendary. I'm excited. I'm really excited about this. Ooh, and a second questing adventure. I've been waiting for that. What is it? What do you guys think it is? Should I just click it? Do you want to just, should I just click it? Should I click it? Click it? <gasps> I clicked it. No, I didn't. Ah! What is it? Legendary. King Mukla. Okay, cool. That's a fun card, though. Three mana. That's awesome. Sweet. That was a good arena run. All right, cool. I'm going to take a break here. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.